It's a beautiful day and it's all about social life show on Wine TV on Facebook. Social life show is all about relationships, marriage, courtship and more. You might be going through situations or troubles which you must you must get a second opinion. Today the question on board is men and women who mostly cheat in relationship or marriage. Don't forget to send your comments or messages on 020 9805 I have two wonderful guests here who are going to help me discuss this issue. This program is proudly sponsored by GH Wave, David Bar Graphics and CJ Beauty Plus. Before I introduce them, I go for a commercial break. When I return, the show continues. Stay tuned. My name is Juliet Amuzu. Welcome back from the commercial break. And it's all about social life show on Wine TV. Don't forget we are streaming live on Facebook. As I said earlier on, I have two beautiful, I have two wonderful guests here who are going to help me discuss this issue. And on my right, I have Mr. Wisdom Dodu. He is a banker. And on my left, I have Mrs. Giftina Tegu. She is also married and an entrepreneur as well and a student. So, good evening. Good evening. Um, please, um, you are looking handsome this evening. Thank you so much. And how are your family, your children, how are they? Oh, they are all doing great. Okay, so the question on board is men and women who mostly cheat in relationship or marriage. But before that, what is considered to be cheating? Um, cheating is basically about the emotional or sexual involvement with somebody who is not your partner. Uh, most of the time, cheating is not just about sex. There are so many forms of cheating. So that's basically how cheating is defined. Okay, I moved to uh, Mrs. Gifty. And how do you also define cheating? Okay, as he said, cheating is not only about um, having sex with someone. There are a whole lot when it comes to cheating. So cheating is you knowing that this is what you are supposed to do to get the right thing, but then you take another step or a different way to do something. Okay, so how do you rebuild trust in your relationship or marriage, Mr. Wisdom? Um, trust is basically knowing that you've done a mistake and ready to accept the mistake and call for forgiveness. So what if the person doesn't accept the mistake? So if you don't accept, that ends it because if I've done a mistake, I've cheated on you and I've noticed that no, I've done a mistake and I come to apologize and you feel like you can't, you can't forgive me, that ends it. But can't you see some mistake, I, into, they are even deep, it hurts a lot just to forgive and just forget about it. Some, some mistakes are deeply hurt. Every mistake will hurt. Every mistake has its, its pain. It depends on how the person carries, how the person handles it. And if, if you feel like um, I cheated on you, and I notice that what I've done is wrong, apologize if you can't forgive me. It's your personal life. You can choose to forgive or not, and life must go on. Okay, Mr. It's, uh, Mrs. Gifty, do you agree with me? Not at all. Trust, when trust is broken, it becomes very difficult to forgive. Sometimes it's not just you apologizing that um, you've done something wrong and then you just go and apologize. Your actions are also important. It needs to speak. You can't just tell me that you did something and then, and then you just come back and tell me, oh, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Meanwhile, your actions doesn't show that you are really sorry. So sometimes I think to rebuild a trust, what were you doing before your partner was doubting you? Maybe, let's say, you were doing hide and seek. When you are in town, he or she calls you, you don't answer. You don't return the calls. When you are in the room with her or him, you have a call. Like, there are some petty, petty things that call for that. So I think if you, you were doing those things and then he, has, he or she has caught you cheating, and then you, you've come, you've realized that this and this is what you did, 
And so you've asked for um, you've asked for an apology. I think you are supposed to be transparent now. Now you have to do every if you are doing everything, you have to involve your partner. Okay. For you to gain that trust. So I what so what if the cheating continues? It continues, it comes. <laughs> that one there, it's I think it depends on the level of love. Because sometimes and sometimes too, when you cheat continuously, we are humans, we get tired. Sometimes you can one person can cheat for three times. Charlie, first you forgiven, second forgiven, third forgiven. The fourth one there, yeah, la la Afunono. <laughs> Mr. Wisdom <laughs> You heard what she said. It's, it's simple to me if a broken glass cannot be guarded. You let it be. You've cheated several times, and and you feel like I feel like no, it's time I have to move on. Can't continue this broken heart. The glass is broken. If you can't fix it, you let it go. I have to move on in my life. <laughs> so what if you leave the guy or you leave your partner, and then you find out an important person has come his or her way? How would you feel? It's, it's normal. Even me. I'm married. If my ex girl is going to marry, it, I have some feeling. It, it gives me some pain. So you you feel hurt, right? I feel hurt. Yes, it's it's it's, it's human. It, I have something to do to before, before we, we are apart. When I go to, I go to get married. Sometimes I, I feel some way. I feel jealous. It, it's it's human. It's it's human feeling. So if you feel jealous about your ex, so your present wife, how do you feel about? No, my present wife is my present wife. My ex is ex. But you said something, you feel jealous. Maybe when she was with you, she had been doing certain things which you really like. So now that because you were cheating and then she, you guys broke up and you are now married, do, are you comfortable? Would you even feel comfortable in the marriage? It's, it's, it's life. Life has to go on. So even if you are feeling the pain in it, you just you, said... You've got married to somebody which is for life. So you know, whatever happened, you let it go. Your ex is your ex. That is why it's called ex. You're not supposed to come back. Are you sure? Yes. So what? <laughs> no, 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 no. You come back. It's by mistake you came back. <laughs> yes. Please don't give an excuse for that. It's not a mistake. You wanted to. You psyched your mind that you wanted to go back. So you are going back. It's not a mistake. I don't think it's a mistake. You see, that's why I keep on saying that. Marriage is marriage. Yeah. I'm married to my wife. You know that girl that came in? It's by mistake. And she shouldn't think she's a, she's a woman of the house. Even if it's good or bad, it's still married. You see, she cannot take the ownership of the house. The married person is there. If I'm married right now, I come across you and something happens, don't think because of that you are married. No, 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 no. You are not the woman of the house. There's a woman of the house is there. So don't just take your mind that this guy you've met, the guy is married, and don't think of anything that will go beyond married. If you go out with me today, right now, after which <laughs> nothing happens. Okay, so what are some of the things that go beyond marriage? Oh, <laughs> there are a lot of things. You know, in marriage, we have a lot of tolerance. Some things are there that you have to be able to. For me personally, I have to do transplant of hearts to accommodate my wife and my children, my stubborn children. You have to be able to, to forgive. Be able to have patience. If you don't have a patient, I'm not sure you can withstand it. Because the, the, the parents are plenty. That's why marriage is not for boys. You have to prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually before you go in. And emotionally. <laughs> and emotionally. Emotionally is also important. <laughs> Okay, so my lovely viewers, you can don't forget to send your messages or comments to zero two zero three seven seven nine eight zero five. The comments, um, the conversation is very 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 interesting. Zero two zero three seven seven nine eight zero five. So I ask another question. Um, would you? How do you fix relationship after cheating? <laughs> Okay, that's what I said earlier, that it depends on on the love, because I can't remember I was in a relationship like that, and I think that was actually um, my first love, even though I had dated, but that was a guy I, I loved so much, and I was I was one person before, when I was dating, like, if, you, if I'm dating you and I see you cheating, I've left you, 
I won't, I won't even tell you that let's break up. I'll just leave. I'll just start again. But don't you think second chance is important? No, 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 no. I feel that whilst you've done that, Charlie, you can do more. So when I was dating this guy, I fell for this guy so much that when I was dating him, I, I caught him cheating, I think for about four times. First, second, third. And I was like, I didn't just understand myself because bef before, if I see you cheating, I'll just leave and go. But I realized that the love I had for him was so much that I just couldn't let go. I just forgive and then go. But it got to a time, I'm human, I got tired of all that. So sometimes it becomes difficult, sometimes to challenge. <laughs> when you look at the situation around, you just let go. Okay, so Mr. Wilson, how do you fix a relationship after cheating? So it's, it's, it takes a process. It takes, it's not just a day work. It takes a process to fix it. You have to rebuild the trust the person has for you. Rebuilding it takes time. It takes a lot of commitment. Make sure your partner knows everything about you. That you are not going back to what you've done again. It's not just about uh, you face it today, the next, the next thing is broken again. No, you face it and you face it forever. Knowing that that happened if you want to move the relationship forward. If I feel like I will not take you anywhere, I don't worry myself in fixing it. I let it go. But if I want to move it to marriage, that's why I have to take process. I have to make sure that I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. I've confessed my sins, forgiven, and accept that, okay, going forward, I'm not going to do it. It's not just, most of, most of you guys, you accept today, the next day, you're in the trap again. Every day, the, the devil has, the devil comes to me. <laughs> the devil is somewhere resting, don't add the devil here. <laughs> okay, you said something like, when you are going out with your partner, you should know everything about him or her. Is it possible? Um, everything is not everything. I keep saying that ladies shouldn't tell their past, their, their bad past to guys. Why? Yes, I've dated a lady before at the point of moving away, moving forward. She told me she had some number of abortions before. And that's, that's a stigma. Everything just vanish. Your bad past is your past. That's why it's called past. You don't tell a guy about your past. Not all guys can withstand it. Some guys, no matter how the guy loves you, as long as you tell them about your bad past, the guy will go. So, my dear ladies, <laughs> let your past be past. Let you only away. ladies or everyone. Oh, if I tell you, what can I tell you that you feel you will not love me? This day, the lady, the, guy, the guys who have now, if you have the, if you have the ladies, if you have the money, you have everything you have. That's all. She doesn't care. But with the guy, it's not just about that. If you tell me something bad about your past that you think is, is so much hurt, maybe somebody has raped you. No, you tell, don't tell a guy uh, somebody has raped you before. Uh, there are some guys who can accommodate that. It's not everyone. Maybe you. It's one person out of out of hundred. But so are you saying are you saying ladies go into relationship because of money? Not all because of money. There are different type of relationship. There are some of them are just to solve problems. Some of them are there are not just for for the last sake. It's because of there's a problem to be solved. A lady needed some things, some money to fix some problems. She can't get it. She comes to you after she get a, she get a, she get the problem solved. She go away. That's just for the problem. But there are some there for a lesson. That one continues. Okay, to my lovely viewers, I go for a commercial break. When I return, the show continues. Stay tuned. Welcome back from the commercial break and the conversation still continues. Don't forget, we are streaming live on Facebook as well. The question is, men and women who mostly cheat in relationship or marriage, the underlying word is cheating. Cheating. Don't forget to send your comments or messages on 020-377-9805. 020-377-9805. Um, so, Mr. Wisdom, you were saying something like if you are in a relationship and you don't tell your partner about your past, what if he or she finds out? You see, there, there are some, some stories that we should all know in life that there are some things that 
will die with some secret that you can't tell anybody then go to the grave with it that is it's part of life and there's some bad past that you don't tell your partner it's human people hear about it and it ruins your relationship just for instance telling your partner that you've been raped before maybe you 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 be raped you got pregnant and no you don't say that is a bad past you don't tell your partner about it if i hear it the love i have for you will disappear it's not just about christ's love no there are some things are there difficult for christ to take it away the, your past is your past let it be your past um, mrs gifty do you do you agree with him yeah some way somehow i agree with him because there are certain things you can't just say it in your relationship. Maybe if the if the if a need pops up, you can you can say it. But then there shouldn't be everything. There are certain things like I, let's take this scenario. There was this um, lady who got married to one man, and then she was married before, and she didn't tell her husband. And later they gave birth and everything. And the guy got found out that this and this is what happened. And the guy was like, no. Then no, the trust is broken. I don't trust you again. You were married and you didn't tell me earlier that you got married before. So he demanded for an, a DNA test. <laughs> Do you get it? So I think there are certain yeah. things that are important. It's needed. So but what if you really love this partner? And then because of what you did in the past, you don't want to involve him, but maybe you're, maybe he has a, a close friend who is who is more closer than you, and then he got to find out what you did in the past was very bad. Don't you think it would destroy your relationship or marriage? Look, um, not all of them will destroy. Some may destroy, but some will not. For instance, getting married and divorce and going to another person again, it's good to tell the person, oh, I've I'm, I'm got married before. That is that one is good. Let the person find out other ones that are so bad. If a prostitute and you get married to a rich man, you don't tell the man that I'm a prostitute. No. How? How would you tell the man that uh, I was a prostitute before? You don't tell the man. Let him go and find out. Everybody has a chain. Everybody has a past. Everybody had a bad past, but we don't say it. Let the past be the past. I have changed and I have changed. I have to move on. I don't know to remember what has happened in the past. Life must go on. That's why it is. You don't tell the person about that. But then I don't think you not telling the person and the person finding out. It's still like you told the person. See, I didn't tell you. If if a lady who has might have caused abortion before and she's with me and she didn't tell me I caused abortion. Nothing happened. Our life is still ongoing. If he goes and he finds out, he comes to ask me, I'll tell you, yes, it is true. That is the past. I'm going to get disappointed because he will expect you to say something. No. How many guys will tell you that I've got, I've, I've caused abortion to you? How many, uh, the number of ladies have been telling you my life before? It's not about the guys, normally the girls, the ladies. Guys can't tell you that I've, guys don't make abortion, they are ladies. <laughs> ladies <laughs> who normally do abortion. The number of ladies have been telling my life, you. what I've done to them. The abortion had made them cause. Do I need to tell you of all this past? <laughs> so you won't get disappointed when the, your partner finds out. How will I get disappointed? If you find out for if you find out that I've, I've pregnant a lady before, you ask me and I say it's true, that's the past. And I'm new now. What uh, what will happen? If you find out that I have I, I pregnant a lady before and I, I made them go for abortion. If you're a lady, you find out. I would say yes, it is true. Then it means you didn't love the person in the first it's not place. About love. Telling the person about your bad past is not about love. <laughs> no. And I don't think if you don't tell the your if you don't tell your partner, there's a need for um, them to find out. No, you see, there are so many ways people can find out things. I may find out through community by somebody. I, I was I was in, I was among a guys who. One of the guy was talking to me about a lady. His ex and things so saying a lot of bad things. I don't know when that the, the same guy I was dating. That was the same guy. That's somebody else. And he was talking a lot of bullshit about the girl. 
But I was quiet. I was just sitting among the guys. Each other, this girl is just like this, like this. No, no, that the same girl, I, I, I'm with. There's so many ways you can find out. That is that that is coincident. That is fine. But I wouldn't come and tell you that I've done this. I'm that this. You're a young girl. At a growing up, somebody rape you, and you got pregnant. You move the pregnancy. That is ten years ago. Now you are with somebody. You will tell the person this, this has happened in the past. No, you don't need it. Um, maybe she was raped and she got pregnant, and they have aborted. She had an abortion. Now she got married to you. She doesn't conceive. Okay, that's a different case. If if you want, if you want, if you are married, it's different thing. If you are married, there's so many ways you go at about. You have to go through custody process. Psychologically, you have to prepare that. How am I going to accept it? How am I going to face the consequences? Because don't forget that in marriage is married. If you tell the person, the person can say, I want to divorce you. Are you ready to withstand the divorce? The person wants to go. If you are ready, you go to a process, you go to cancel the process. You let people know. You, cop, you don't just get up one day and prepare better food for your husband and tell your husband, this is what I've done before. No. The husband can even faint and die. It can even come to a conversation. It doesn't mean that you just get up and then go and tell your partner that I had an abortion. Maybe you guys were just talking or a problem pops up, then it will just come in. So, um, so my question is, after you find out what your partner has done in the past, will you forgive him or her? Uh, that depends. It depends on the, 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 the nature of the package of the, of the, of, of the sin and how she packages, she, 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 she processes, and the way she calls for the forgiveness. If the thing is too big, <laughs> I think maybe. Then I think you don't love it. <laughs> no, you see, there are some things that, you see, don't forget that a man is a man. man men are not born to love. Men, we are not born to love. Women that are supposed to love us. Men are born to love. Women are supposed to submit and respect. Okay. <laughs> okay, so my next question is, um, would you ever forgive a cheater? You see, before a woman cheats, she goes through some process. The person engaged the woman for some time. Before, but a guy can cheat. Have you, ever, have you seen any woman who wake up in the morning hard before? <laughs> no, only guys that can wake up in the morning hard. Why? Ladies wake up honey. Oh, please. <laughs> That's true. Especially during ovulation. No, that is one time. How many times do we get ovulation in a woman? So we can also cheat during ovulation. We can also do a whole lot of stuff. It's not an excuse for cheating. It's not an excuse for men to cheat. I don't know why recently you guys take cheating, like men cheating to be normal. It's not supposed to be so. You see, that's why I, I kept saying that um, cheating takes, a woman before a woman cheats, it takes time. It takes process. The guy might have engaged the woman for some time. But a guy, Charlie, it can happen at, at, at unexpected. But the woman must be ready to forgive. Mrs. Gifty, what are you going to say about? I don't think there's a reason. There's there's no reason for cheating. If you want to cheat, you decided that I wanted I want to do this. You get me? You don't just say because my husband beats me at home, so I'm cheating. No, if if she beats if he beats you at home and you can't stand it, leave. Don't be in it. It's not enough to say there's no reason for cheating. There are so many reasons for cheating. I am dating you for a particular reason. I expect this and this from you, I'm not getting it. I end up going elsewhere. Why don't you talk to the person to get no, it? No, it is common, it's there. If you are if you're a lady, you are dating a guy, they wouldn't have a time, time for you. The guy goes and comes back late, the guy doesn't call you, nothing the guy does for you. You have, you have enough reason to go, let, let that thing go and go and take somebody else. The guy says he loves you, he always send you money, chop money, he goes, no phone call, you call, he doesn't pick up, he comes in the evening, he doesn't even call to say, oh honey, how are you doing? Nothing. For a whole week, every day, just because of your chop money, you sit inside. If a lady, if any, any, any guy at all comes in, the lady, the lady is ready to go out with that guy. That means the lady is going to leave the other man and go. It's not that he will, she will be in the relationship with that other man and still be in a relationship with someone. I don't support don't that. that. If, if it's the same guy who, who, who give you chop money every week. It doesn't matter. 
If if you are my if, if you are dating you every day you give me chop money you don't pay attention to me you don't give me anything and there's somebody who doesn't give me that but the person pay attention to me why not? But um, I want to ask a question. Is relationship all about chop money? No, it's not about it's it's, it's hand to hand. It's about supporting each other and being there when the person needs you. But you are not there when the person needs you. You have a guy, he travels to Dubai and come back without even informing you. Without even knowing that. Just leave. Don't be in a relationship and then be cheating. No, if you go, you will go hungry. Go hungry, <laughs> say. He won't go hungry. When he wasn't there, what were you, what were you eating? Oh, my dear. Yeah, the, the, the economy is hard now. I kept saying that. I kept saying, I kept I'm cheating. I'm telling my friend, my is that. If you feel like um, your guy is not giving enough attention and this same guy is supporting you a lot, don't just say you are going and go hungry. Be there, get somebody else a move. <laughs> so would you be happy if you find out the lady you are dating, she's getting money from you and then she has left to be with someone else? Oh, my ex girl got married three months after we broke up. Uh, but wow. now you're broken up. <laughs> I mean, in the relationship. It will happen. You're dating and dating another guy for over of years. <laughs> after you left me, you know, time I got an invitation card. I said, ah, how? How did it happen? So that means happen she was cheating. Even in, even, that even means she was cheating. Oh, it's, it's not cheating. No. There, it, should be, there should be, it should be voluminous. It should be voluminous. <laughs> so, would you ever forgive Oh, who cheated? It depends the kind of cheating. If it's emotional cheating, fine, why not? It's just text messages, no sexual involvement. Okay. But I, I, wisdom, I don't know how I'll forgive to see my partner, to catch them red-handed and see single me. It's not true. I'm forgiving you. No. It will hurt me. So I'm not sure I can be able to stand that. I'll call you. I want to forgive you, but let's all go and find our way. Okay. So what about you? Yeah, I think I, I side with him. There's some kind of cheating. You can't, you can't. What he's saying, I, I met a, my guy and then a lady. I, I caught them in bed. Oh. And I just left. I didn't tell him anything. I'm not going back. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, to my lovely viewers, the conversation still continues. Don't forget to send your messages or comments on 020-377-9805. Uh, um, so my next question is, how do you get over your partner when cheating? So it, it takes time. Getting over somebody, it takes time. You see, sometimes it becomes hard when you have some sexual intercourse with a person. But if it's a normal dating, nothing happened, that one you can easily forget. But if there's any, any blood coming up between the two of you, it, it takes time, it takes process. The lady or the guy must be psychologically ready to forgive the person and move on in life. Sometimes you have to give your time. Your, I keep saying that you give your, yourself period to heal. You are going through a healing process. So you give yourself some period and, and be ready before you go in for any other person. And then that you go in and you go in with the pain you are still having it. So you don't move from broken heart to another, another one. And that the pain you, you felt in the first one, you transfer to the second one. That, but that guy might have innocent. That guy is innocent. But because of the pain you went through, because of your past pain, you transfer to somebody. So take time, get healed, before you continue the, the journey of relationship again. So what about you? Yeah, I, 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 I side with him. There are some relationships. It becomes very, very difficult to forgo whatever happened, Charlie. <laughs> it's, it's not easy, it's not easy, but I think it all depends on the level of love you both have for each other. If you think you can just forgive, I think you sure you can. Okay. So my last question is, what do you think will make a partner cheat in a relationship or marriage? Uh, it depends on the situation and it depends on individual. There are a lot of times that we fall in love with people because of what we see, what we expect. If you're a guy and you fell in love with a lady, it's maybe it's a shape, 
it's her back, it's her front that you fell in love with. What happens if that front is no longer there? You want, is a front you are following. After she had one, one or two child, that is no longer there. See, what you expect when you went to the ship, it's no longer there. So you end up cheating because that expectation is not met. I'm following the lady because of the nature of her body and all that, her front. But she had one child, a second child, that will no longer be there. So I'm end up saying, oh, this girl, she's now in the house, so let me go in. What attracts me? If it's the front attracts you, the front is no longer there, I'll go and look for a front that, that can attract me. So when you expect something from somebody, that expectation is not met. You end up cheating. Or what you want, you don't get it. You end up cheating. When many, of, many of us guys, maybe ladies, who go in, who go in for a reason. After the guy got married for you, got married to you, and the guy is living a life that you don't want. You forgot that's what you went in for. It's the money you went in for. Now the money is no longer there. But don't you think other ladies also go in a, in a relationship because of sex? Oh yes, it do happen. There are, there are a lot of times that uh, sometimes it's about sex. It's how good the guy is on bed. A lady can fall in love with a guy because of the first sex they've had. There are some ladies that are going to pain because the first love that broke, the guy that broke her, the nature of his manhood, all the other guys came, the size is not the same. The size that broke you is very big. Now, you've not, you're, you're, not, you're not getting the same size anymore. So anybody that comes, then certify you. <laughs> I think you enjoy this part. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? I personally, I don't think there should be a reason for cheating. Well, let's say marriage. If I think that's why communication is there. You guys would have to sit down and talk. Not just once. For so many times. If you think you guys sitting down to talk, it's not helping. There are elders. There are early people who can sit down and then talk to you guys about what you are supposed to do. Don't say because, let's see, okay, that will be those who go in for relationship. They go in for, let's say, the physical aspects. But if you truly love someone, I don't think if she changes in her physical aspects, you are going to cheat. That's our, sometimes, that's our mind. We just psych our mind to that perspective. If you're in a relationship, things are not working out, You've spoken to people to come and talk to the, your partner and it's still not working out. Why should you be there? You're not comfortable. Think about yourself. Think about your feelings. You are supposed to be happy. So if you are with something and then you're not happy with it, you've tried so much to make it work and it's not helping. Don't cheat. Just leave that thing and go. Go find someone who can, you think can make you happy or something that can make you happy. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Wisdom, well, how do you see it? Uh, it's, it's, as I said earlier, it's, it's how it is when you don't get what you want and these days a lot of marriages broken marriages are coming from the christian a lot of young marriages are breaking down you see some young guy and young lady they are so much in love after the girl married within a year and it's nowhere to be found you don't see where the love has passed the guys who splash the money after they get married to the lady now it's changed now i've got money to you now what happened next the lady would dress nice after she get married. After her first born, she didn't dress anymore. She wears anything anyhow. No. You have to stand up. You have to stand up and be on her feet and be like a modern lady. I don't think I don't think with this reason you would have to cheat. That is why I say I love communication. I really love communication, especially when it comes to relationship. If there's something going on, just talk to the person. We are human. Sometimes she feels that maybe. Dressing this way, I'll feel comfortable. Maybe at that moment, she feels like dressing this way. Maybe, honey, I don't like this kind of dressing. Just like this. Talk to the person. This doesn't cause for cheating. <laughs> okay, to my lovely viewers, I am really enjoying this conversation. I have some comments here to read, but before I read them, I go for a commercial break. When I return, I read the comment. Stay tuned.
welcome back from the break as i said i have some comments here to read so the first one is from bella from nungwa and she says i am married but have no feelings for my husband what can i do to change this and love him again <laughs> <laughs> hey that's a very serious question you know she have to go through a cancer process for her to get this feeling. This, this involves a, a lot. Were you in love with him before you entered marriage? Or were you not? Let's get to that aspect. If you were and then, and then you are not, I think there's something that made you feel out of it. Now, I think you need to see a counselor or something. But then if you were not and you entered, <laughs> why did you enter the first place? And I think there will be some reasons why she, she entered into that. Okay, Mr. Okay, uh, in the first place, what is the reason for entry into marriage? What happened? The reason why all of a sudden the feeling she has have just vanished. She need to seek for counseling. She has to go for counseling and be sure that that feeling is back because you can't, it can't just vanish in that something might have happened see for counseling and set your mind up so that you can love that person but it is for life so don't just allow the feeling to vanish and think it is okay it's not okay work for your marriage stand up and fight for it and i'm sure you'll get your husband back okay thank you very much so i read the last message i'm from christiana I am in love with someone's husband and we are getting closer and closer. We both have families, but we can't live without meeting each other for kids, and, but we have never had sex. What should I do? <laughs> I think just uh, in the first place, know that if tomorrow that you are married and somebody did that to your husband. She's married, right? Yeah, she's, she's married. 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 Yeah. She needs to know that she did the wrong thing. You stand with only the husband. What he's doing is wrong. And to provide remain wrong. Allow the family, allow the man to focus on his wife and children. And to focus on the husband, not children. Let them work at their marriage. Work for your own. It's time to focus on your own. The husband will one day find out. He will leave you. You can't go in for that guy. The guy will not accept you back. Don't break your marriage because of kissing. It's not enough to break your marriage because you fell in love with a married man because of just kissing. Please, please, and be please. Okay, so I'm going to say this to you. What about this issue there? <laughs> well, I think there's something wrong there, and she needs to see a, a counselor. Because you can't just. You're in a marriage. You're in a marriage. He's also, he's also in a marriage. What if your husband finds out? Your husband is going to leave you. But have you thought about him? Is he going to leave you? So he's right. I don't know. And then you are not in his mind, so you wouldn't know what he would be thinking for you. He would just see a counselor and then talk to him. Counselor, I know there are more things. Okay, thank you very much. It hurts me so much. This is how I wrap up this day. But before then, I would like. Last word. Please, what are your last words for the viewers? Um, my dear viewers, cheating is not the best option. Let's go in for the person for a reason. And the reason shouldn't be any other day you cheat. That is, there's no reason for it. Let's try our best and stay with whoever we are with. That's what I can tell you. Okay, so what about your last word? Okay, I personally don't support cheating and I don't think it's a good thing to be done. If you are with your partner and things aren't going well, I think you should talk about it. If it's been spoken more times and it's still not working, it's better you leave than to cheat. And that's all.
Okay, okay, okay. It's my lovely viewers. Key things that you know is important in a relationship or marriage. This is where I draw my curtains for today's show. This program is proudly sponsored by GH Wave, Dabiba Graphics, and CJ Beauty Plus. Dabiba Graphics is a designer, so for all your flyer, complimentary card, banners, just contact Dabiba on 024-954-5741. Um, GH Wave is also an entertainment blog. So for all your entertainment news, just log on to www.ghwave.com and trust me, you will be entertained. CJ Beauty Plus, you can see from my look, I am looking beautiful. So for all your pedicure, your hairstyle, medicure, just go to CJ Beauty Plus, which is located at Dominique Plus 2. For more information, you can contact CJ Beauty Plus on 0248. 911577. Many thanks to my producer and my technical team. Meet me next week, same time on One TV. I am Juliet Amuzu. Have a blessed day. I'm out.